Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel if you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to react to Ali bin Abi Talib's quotes, which are better known for your life. If you've been following this channel, you know that I was immensely impressed with the description of God coming from Ali. Therefore, I'm very curious to hear what he has to say about life. With no further ado, let's have a look. Do not say words which you yourself do not like to hear. If Others say them to you. This is basically the golden rule. You do unto others as you would have others do unto you. The tongue of a wise person is behind his heart, while the heart of a fool is behind his tongue. Yes, makes perfect sense. Basically what he's saying here is think before you speak. Don't use the sharpness of your words on your mother who taught you how to speak. Respect your elders. It's with madness and ends with regret. Very correct as well. Anger comes from uncontrolled emotion, aka madness. A man that doesn't have his emotions under control is not a proper man. Ends with regret. Never explain yourself to anyone. The person who likes you doesn't need it, and the person who dislikes you won't believe it. That is absolutely correct. The modern way of saying this would be haters gonna hate. Be like the flower that gives its fragrance to even the hand that crushes it. Very beautiful as well, essentially means that you have to express yourself in your true nature, no matter what anybody else will think of it. Nothing hurts the heart more than sins. self explained Hate no one, no matter how much they've wronged you. Live humbly, no matter how wealthy you become. Think positively, no matter how hard life is. self explained If you want to test someone's character, give him respect. If he has good character, he will respect you more. If he is bad character, he will think he is the best of all. Speech is like a man. Absolutely. Give a man ultimate power and ultimate power will corrupt him ultimately. Edison, a small dose of which cures, but an excess of which kills. Anger is like a ball of fire. But if you swallow it, it's sweeter than honey. Don't feel lonely on the road of righteousness because of the fewness of travelers on it. Very correct. This is the description of the straight path, of course. Very little people walk the straight path. Most people, I would say 99%, are unfortunately following delusion. Many tough problems are overcome by leniency. There are two ways to live a pleasant life, either in someone's heart or in someone's prayer. A, a moment path. of patience in a moment of Anger saves a thousand moments of regret. Yeah, basically he's reminding everybody of how destructive anger is. Nothing Life is out of it. but the shadow of a clown. The dream of a sleeper. I'm in. The dream of God. Be kind and considerate too. Your woman. She is a tender flower. And not your household slave. Protect yourself from anger for its. Beginning is insanity. And its end is remorse. Again. Beautiful people are not always good, but good people are always beautiful. Be sure that there is something waiting for you after much patience to astonish you too to a degree that you forget the bitterness of the pain. Ignore pain otherwise you will never be happy. Absolutely correct yet again because people misconstrued pain with negative and happy with positive. Ultimately pain can be pleasure as well. If you get yourself up and you go to the gym, you work out, this can be very painful at first, but you get a reward for doing so. Ultimately pain can be transmuted into pleasure. Never conflate pain with negativity. You will never be happy. Give your enemy a thousand chances to become your friend, but do not give your Friend a single chance to become your enemy. I will be patient until even patience tires of my patience. Respect. There is always enough light for the one who wants to see. Every hopeful person continues seeking and every fearful one runs away. True. Do not raise your children the way your parents raised you. 
they were born for a different time. This is actually very interesting because if you look into Islam, for example, Islam seeks to preserve those old fashioned values. Here, however, he says that the kids were born for a different time. So it's a balanced approach where you have to understand as well that there are new challenges ahead in this modern day and age. The kids grow up now with tablets, with Instagram, TikTok and whatnot. Of course, you have to protect them and you have to prepare them for those challenges. There are two kinds of people. One those who seek but cannot find, to those who found but still want more. Mm, I think I'm number two. Let go of anything that brings you stress and sorrow. <laughs> it is better to listen to a wise enemy than to seek counsel from a foolish friend. 100%. Oh Allah, when I lose my hopes and plans, help me remember that your love is greater than my disappointments and your plans for my life are better than my dreams. That reminds me of one of the verses in the Quran. Of course, I'm paraphrasing here that you have your plans, but Allah is the greatest of all planners. Never make a decision in anger. Never make a promise in happiness. Very, very true. Ultimately, he's telling you that you shouldn't be emotional. Either way, it is a lie. If you're angry, you make a wrong decision. If you're super happy, you make a wrong promise. Ultimately, you have to be solid within your being. You have to stay away from emotional decisions. And a mountain into dust then to create love in a heart that is filled with hatred. True. Forgiveness is the best victory. <laughs> the words of Allah medicine of the heart this computer voice is the worst do not let your difficulties fill you with anxiety after all it is only in the darkest nights that stars shine more brightly right. perhaps it's the remedy that brought the sickness and perhaps the sickness turned into a remedy for sickness might be the cure Absolutely correct. I've been very sick over the past half year, unfortunately, and being sick like that always brings me closer to God. So it is a positive. Blessed is he whose own faults keep him from seeing the faults of others. This reminds me of the Bible, the one without sin shall cast the first stone. A hopeless person sees difficulties in every chance, All the time. but a hopeful person sees chances in every difficulty. Challenge accepted. Don't engage your heart in grief over the past or you won't be ready for what is coming this is exactly correct this is why i don't dwell too deeply into history all we got is the now right now i'm recording this video right now you're watching this video even if you watch this video tomorrow it is still the now for you body is purified by water nafs by tears intellect is purified by knowledge and soul is purified with love it's hide the good theology that you do and make known the good done to you. Very profound as well. I believe that we don't have to talk about the good things that we did. There is nobody good but God anyhow. Ultimately, if we give to charity, God knows it. We don't have to tell anybody else. Do not take someone's silence as his pride. Perhaps he is busy fighting with his self. <laughs> he who trusts the world the world betrays him. Most powerful statement of the whole video. Because everything in this world is temporary. Everything that you see within this world will decay. Your wife, your children, you, yourself, everything will be gone. So you cannot find truth within creation. The only truth is within God. A true friend is one who sees a fault, gives you advice, and who defends you in your absence. Very I would not forsake the son of the prophet for the opinion of anyone. How honorable is knowledge that the one who does not have it says he does. And how dishonorable is ignorance that the one who has it says he does not. Give up discussing what you do not know and speaking about what does not concern you. Very, very correct. This is what I call being ignorant and arrogant at the same time. You have absolutely no clue what you're talking about, but nevertheless, you have an opinion and nevertheless, you will still talk about it on end. We see this, of course, with certain YouTubers such as David Wood. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. Yet again, absolutely beautiful quotes coming here from Ali. My personal favorite was, He who trusts the world, the world betrays him. Within Christian orthodoxy, we have the saying, Be in this world, but not of it. It is a constant reminder for us to redirect our attention inwards rather than outwards. The outwards world that you call in Islam dunya will simply deceive you. A beautiful passage of the Quran is, The life of this world is merely enjoyment 
element of delusion. Which again brings us to the conclusion that life is temporary and death will come for sure to everybody out there. No matter how rich you are, no matter how big you are, no matter how strong you are, it doesn't matter. All of this is fleeting. All of this is temporary. None of it is real ultimately because the only ultimate reality would be of course God. Why? Because God is the opposite of temporary. He is eternal. He is the only thing that persists. And with that, he is the only thing that is real. All of us will perish. Everything you see here, you have to understand, everything you see here will perish. And once you have that understanding, you will realize that you will never find the truth within this world. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.